Hello, folks, and welcome back to Rugby Ascendant. This is Chris. Well, the second major rugby union head coach in 24 hours has been fired. Yesterday, Wayne Pivick, the Kiwi, was fired from the Welsh Rugby Union after a poor performance on his part and replaced by none other than Warren Gatlin, the guy who likes to preen and gas bag and talk about other coaches and complain about TMOs before a series even begins. Remember the British and Irish Lions series last year? Yeah, anyway, the guy who started the whole mess that Rossi Erasmus took the heat for, he started it all. But Warren Gatlin is back now as the Wales head coach. But today, England's rugby football union sacked Eddie Jones. The man with the single best record in the history as a coach of England, 76% win percentage after a terrible season of 12 tests in which the team won only five of those tests. They had to have a miracle to come back against New Zealand to tie them. They lost the Springboks to finish it, and they also lost Argentina. It was a tough season for England. Well, it's a tough sport, ladies and gentlemen. It is a tough sport. Professional sport is rough. Now, Eddie Jones is the second head coach to be fired in just 24 hours. As I mentioned, Wayne Pivick was replaced by Warren Gatlin yesterday. Now, Jones was contracted to take the team through the end of the 2023 World Cup in France. Of course, he famously guided England to the 2019 final after his predecessor was sacked. But they lost to South Africa in that final, which frustrated England rugby football union. So they've cut his seven-year reign, and it's over. Now, England's Rugby Football Union Chief Executive Bill Sweeney said, it's important to recognize the huge contribution Eddie has made to English rugby, winning three Six Nations titles, one Grand Slam, and taking us to the World Cup final. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out, Eddie, as he sacks it. <laughs> now, that Autumn Series I just mentioned went very badly, and the whole year went very badly. Just one win in the Autumn Series against Japan. They lost to Argentina and lost to South Africa in that lucky draw they had against New Zealand. 76% win percentage is what Eddie Jones achieved there. Now, when I was at the 2015 World Cup in England, the last game USA versus Japan, he was the Japan head coach, and he'd taken Japan to great heights, beating South Africa in that same World Cup, another game that I was at. So as he walked up the steps to the booth, I saw Eddie, and I said, hey, Eddie, thanks for signing with the Stormers. He had signed with the Stormers in Western Province as head coach, but then gave up that job to take over the England job. And here we are seven years later. Eddie Jones' time as head of England is over. Now, with Wayne Pivick out being replaced by Warren Gatlin, a lot of speculation as to who will take over England. We will see. It's the players who fail to perform, and rugby football union executives need to remember that. The players are the ones not performing on the pitch. England's style isn't the issue. It's their dirty play and their poor performance on the pitch or why they had such a turgid season. That's why. Not Eddie Jones' lack of coaching innovation and his drive or ability to motivate players. The players fail to get it done. And at some point, England and Wales need to take a hard look at who's on their sides. For their part, under Warren Gatlin, Wales will not win the 2023 Rugby World Cup in France. They will not. They'll be lucky to get out of the pool stage. They might, but they will not win. England is very unlikely to win in 2023. The favorites for the 2023 World Cup remain France, God forbid, and Ireland. Ireland looks pretty sad in their performance this year but they're the top ranked team at the moment and all they need to do is uh, get a little bit of improvement in their game and pick up put some step pep in their step and ireland could win finally but they have a habit of choking in the world cup so we'll see what happens right now france remains the favorite the all blacks despite another poor season they're always an outside dark horse never count them out and south africa i'll tell you some of the luckiest people in the world are rossi erasmus and jacques nienaber after a poor performance this season a very poor performance you'd have to wonder about whether Jacques Nienaber's head would be on the block and Rossi Erasmus be relieved but they are secure at the South African Rugby Union so sorrow is not going to let them go but Eddie Jones is out in England there you have it folks Eddie Jones is out who will replace him England's chance of winning the World Cup look dim indeed Wells chance seems to have gone away a long time ago thanks a lot for tuning in folks we'll catch you next time here appreciate your support for the channel cheers Thank you.